What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now, one of my patrons have just informed me that Deftones has released a new single from their upcoming album. And uh, as you may, may or may not know, I am a huge Deftones fan. I've listened to this band ever since Adrenaline. I've purchased all their albums. I've done reactions on this channel to their music. Hell, I've even done reactions to covers of their songs uh, that other people have done and rated them on a scale of thumbs up or thumbs down. It's a very interesting video if you're a Deftones fan and I implore you to go ahead and check it out you know, on your own time. But, uh, but anyway, I wanted to go ahead and check out this song Ohms to see how the band is progressing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And uh, make sure you thank Joel down below in the comment section for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and check it out. Once again, this is Deftones with Ohms.
So something I really enjoy about this band is the fact that throughout this band's whole catalog, they consistently make music that's in line with who they are. Uh, I was having a conversation with another Deftones fan recently, and we were talking about how we really hated how they got stuck with that stigma of being new metal. But when you try to classify them in a genre, are these guys heavy metal? Are they hard rock? You know, are they metalcore? What are they? And they don't fit into any of those categories. Like Deftones fits in its own category. And like I said, they have consistently made music that has been satisfying to their fan base. Now, this track right here sounds like the direction the band should have headed after the release of Koi no Yokan. I believe the album that was released after that was Gore. And it kind of threw me off because the single they had released for that album was uh, Prayers or Triangles. And it had that heavy melodic Deftone sound that we're used to, but the album was completely different. I would say out of all of the Deftone albums and the projects featuring Chino or the band members, I would say that Gore was my least favorite. There were certain tracks on there that I could listen to, but it wasn't one of those albums that I could listen to all the way through. All the other Deftone albums, I can listen to those all the way through. And so with this song, it it feels like they're getting back into their roots. They're getting back into their style of what they do. They do these heavy melodic songs that just feel and sound really, really good. But guys, go ahead and leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section. What did you think about this song and how do you feel about the progression of this band throughout the years? I would love to hear your thoughts. I can talk Deftones all day long. So guys, uh, you know, don't be shy down in the comment section. But anyway, once again, shout out to Joel. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.